Hi everyone! Today I thought I'd show you my process of creating underpaintings for two mini oil paintings of mine. The process itself of creating a whole underpainting can seem tedious at times. It's a lot of work, a lot of layers upon layers, but the results of laying down a strong foundation for your painting is so satisfying. The subjects I'm painting are one left over from Halloween season, just kind of a moody Edgar Allan Poe-esque guy in a field carrying a skull. <laughs> and the other is this magical fawn-like character who collects dreams and the gems of his headdress. In next week's video, I'll elaborate more on the stories for these guys. But for now, for these two underpaintings, I'm using a limited palette of titanium white, ivory black, permanent blue, and burnt umber, and a few premix values in between. I don't want the temperature of the underpainting to be too cool nor too warm, just neutral all around as much as possible. Since these are underpaintings that I will eventually be glazing over with many colors, it's sometimes hard to pick out the right values, but I try to go by the rule of being three shades lighter than what you intend. Painting in almost a black and white, aside from the minimal blues and browns, kind of reminds me of drawing in charcoal. You get to really spend time caring for your shapes and values and not worry about all the other elements and distractions from color paints yet. For me, it's relaxing.
on to the next one. Once again, we start the underpainting with numerous layers, building on values and shapes and really taking our time to craft them well. Only now as I'm editing this, I'm realizing that for both of these compositions, I have these figures looking down. <laughs> that must mean something about my psyche or something. Anyway. All right, so these are my two underpaintings for these pieces in progress. Some parts are not as I'd hoped they'd go, but overall I'm happy with the stage they're in. Sometimes you need to learn to just put down your brush and carry on. Next week I'll be showing you the next step in finishing these pieces with color glaze, so if you'd like to see that, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss it. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment in this video or find me on my Instagram or Twitter to ask. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!